Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today, obviously, as you can see, we've transferred our save over from the main game to the public test server, and we are going to use that to buy something, and I am very excited about what we are going to buy, because what we are going to buy is the Ford F750, boys! I am so excited about this! Purchase and deploy. This thing is a quad cab monster. An absolute monster. Now, it comes in a pretty stripped down state, but we're going to fix that because we got a lot to do to the thing. Now, we're going to start with the engine. We have the AAT 6V40, the AAT 6V44, and the HET 6V50. So, obviously, none of those really improve the power to weight all that much, but this one does improve the durability, so I'm going to go with that. Now, the gearbox is custom. The suspension, we can do a raised or a tuned custom, but both of those are only available in the Kola Peninsula, which is actually kind of cool because I'm actually like, it's kind of cool because I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, hmm, for one... Mm, for one, I kind of wish I had access to these right now, but I'm not upset about it because it gives me something like to really look for. Now, let's see. You could go up to a 45, but obviously the, the clearance for that isn't really there. So the most we can do right now is a 37, unfortunately. Now, you can do a chained 37, but we're going to do a off-road 37. And I mean... I'm not too upset about it, but I would like to, oh, let's see, advanced, autonomous, wait, mm, we'll do the autonomous, yeah, just in case. Now we can do a pickup bed, a custom pickup bed, which, wait a second, why is there a giant space between, oh, 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 that's, that is weird, okay, utility mount. And the pickup bed would go behind the utility mount, I'm guessing, because it does line up with the fender. That is so weird. And then we can add the custom pickup bed on top of it and the trunk repair supply. Jesus, dude. This is the most, like, overly outfitted vehicle I think I've ever seen. I mean, there's so much stuff on it that it... <laughs> It's like, what else could you even put on it? We'll do the, yeah, we'll do the tall front facing and engageable all-wheel drive. And let's see, diff lock is always on. So we've got all wheels and diff lock right out of the gate. Let's see, outrolled, flat cap, or stock. I'm just going to do mm, flat cap. And, ooh, let's see. I'll do the visor just for kind of like that old school look. Whoa, we can do like a flasher bar, like a fire truck. That is, that is really cool. That's pretty sick. Okay, so let's see. Lattice bumper, hunter bumper, trapezium bumper, or stock. I'm going to actually, I think, go stock for now, but that is really, really cool. The hunter bumper, like with the ties, like from the bumper to the, um, to the A-perler, that looks really cool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that too. And F750 wheels are the only things we can do. And you have your general color assortment, although this one is kind of weird and kind of funky, but I'm not against it. I'm just like, oh, that's different. Uh, let's see. I do like this, this like kind of classic brown, but I also like the red. That looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and apply all of that. And now, and now, we take it for a drive. And I'm not quite sure what to think about this. But, uh, it's outfitted. That's for dang sure. And it is, uh, it is big. It is, it is huge. What kind of trailers can we pull with it? Wow, just about, just about whatever kind of scout-related trailers you wanted. And even things that are a little bit bigger than you would assume for scouts. It's pretty cool. There's a lot going on here, really. You don't really get many transmission options, but that doesn't bother me all that much. Oh, look at this interior. Look at that shifter. Dude, look at like you can see the back seat and everything. This is so cool. So freaking cool. I want to put the big tires on it, though. God, this is so freaking cool, but I need the big tires. God, I absolutely need the big tires. All right. 
We're gonna go... Hmm. Hmm. I almost wonder if we could... Well, we're gonna have to explore the lake before we can get the big tires, I guess. But let's throw it right into some mud and see what it can do. There's low plus. This is obviously, again, with the smallest tires we can put on it right now. Even with the smallest tires, she ain't doing too bad. I mean, it's long, and I think that's that's the biggest thing that's going to work against this truck is the fact that it is limo long. So there's really, like, uh, I mean, it's, there's really, like, not much you can do to help that apart from lifting it, which, again, you have to find those lift kit parts in the Kola Pen Peninsula. So until you find those, you're kind of out of luck there. Oh, no. We stooled it out. There you go. Go, 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 go. Really? Like, bud, come on. If you could, like, not... If you could, like, not and say you did, that'd be great. It is a really cool-looking truck, though. I mean, there are very few trucks that, I think, have this level of cool to them. And I really can't think of anything off the top of my head right now that is is just absolutely, like, oozes that level of cool like this truck does. It's just... It's such a complete package, and obviously, that that complete package is going to be more complete once we get the lift kit parts, but at the end of the day, though, wow, what a rig. What a freaking rig, man. And I love the fact that you could put the fire truck lights on it, too. It's just like those little details and little touches that go a really, really long way, you know, to making a truck like this so cool and so worth using pretty quick and high i mean for a lot of the trucks that are this size this thing's definitely no slouch in high range i mean it goes it absolutely goes let me give a little bit of there we go a little bit of right and come back with a little bit of left oof <laughs> big oof there bud did y'all really think i was gonna leave you hanging like that without showing you the lift kit ah no way no way, bro. So now that we're in the testing grounds, we can throw whatever we want in it. So we're going to go ahead and throw the big engine in it, the tuned custom suspension on it, and the 45-inch off-road tires. So I really, really, really wanted to check these out. I, I, I could not, could not go without doing it. So let's see. Pickup bed, custom pickup bed. Eh, this time I think I'm going to set it up a little bit differently. Let's do pickup bed and utility mount. And we'll, we'll be okay with that, I think. Like, just for now, engageable all-wheel drive. Tall front-facing snorkel. And let's see. Let's see. Flap cap. Outrolled. Eh, we'll do outrolled this time. And eh, what do we want to do? Straight, straight cap sun visor. Yeah, flasher bar. And I'm thinking, actually thinking stock bumper this time. Because the stock bumper does look really, really cool. And I think I'm going to paint it, well, I kind of want to paint it red this time. Just because we've got sort of that fire truck vibe going on. Or we can do a white one. I'm going to do a white one. All right, now. Now let's go. Oh my god. Now I just need an actual proper siren thing is so sick. Alright, I want to see what it's like with the big engine and the 45s. I mean, it's got gigantic tires on it now. Look how big it is next to the little K1500. It's so freaking huge. I'm trying to drive it up on top of it, but I don't think it would like it. I don't think it would... I, I don't think it would like it, A. And B, I don't think it would let me. So, we're just not going to have it do that for now. All right, bud. Let's go. You're not that fast, are you? It's really not. Like, it's quick for what it is, but... It ain't overall all that quick. Oh, God. Oh, Big bog down. Big bog down. Come on. Flat out. Flat out. Flat out. Keep it in high. Like, it will do what you want. You just really have to ask it for it. You know what I mean? Like, you really have to, like, almost, almost be mean to the thing. Will you climb this? No, you will not. 
Ooh, and it slammed the rear bumper into the ground. Let's not have it do that again. Dude, it will not make that without stalling. It's just like, uh-uh. Nope. Big nope. It's like total big nope. And I'm trying to think. I'm gonna give it a quick look. Ah, we'll go ahead and have a little bit of a little bit of a mud attempt. See how she does in the mud. These tires are supposedly excellent. So we'll see what they actually mean when they say excellent. They ain't bad. That's for sure, they ain't bad. Now I know without a shadow of a doubt it is going to get high centered on this like this water obstacle over here like the dips oh my god it is going to completely high center itself on the dips dropping it in and let's go easy oh god oh boy yep what i tell you what i tell you ends up literally just like a freaking bus like straight up we are an actual bus right now i mean i'll tell you this ship ain't going anywhere that's for sure this this ship has uh has docked and it ain't going anywhere but if you guys enjoyed that entire uh that entire build and uh by the way by the way I really enjoyed it. Like, I am all over this freaking truck. I love it. I'm so happy they added it. But if you guys are as happy as I am that they added this truck, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. And see you all. And I'll see y'all next time.